There's nobody in the world I would rather do Boca Negra with now rather than him. <laughs> I have this sense that you've waited a whole lifetime to play this role of Simone Bocanegra. So what was it then that finally persuaded you to do it now? It was always a, a long time dream that I said I want to do it as the last thing in my career. But now it has come perhaps earlier than I thought because I'm still doing a lot of tenor parts, you know, I have to do. So I hope that... Uh, then it's not the last part that I, that I sing. Of course, I, I want to do it with my voice. I don't pretend to be a baritone. You are born with the voice and you are born. Obviously for him, this is quite a challenge to do a baritone role. The notes that are high for a baritone and therefore have a natural intensity for the sheer effort that it requires a baritone to sing them are for him very easy because they're in the middle register. And what is in the low register for the baritone, he had to put pressure because it is very low for him. At the beginning of my career, I thought I was a baritone, and I, I sang as a baritone, but I, I never sang a, an opera. You said sometime that tenors live more dangerously. That's right, so there is, is a dangerous life, the, the life of a tenor. You are always uh, at the age, you know. Everybody's expecting high notes, even though I have based my singing in thinking about the whole scale, you know what I mean? So you, 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 you just have to go, you know, to, to be able to go from bottom to top. But the public, generally speaking, they, they love the danger. They love the, they danger. love the danger, you know, so they're expecting the high notes. So yes, I have lived all my life dangerously and uh, fortunately and successfully, you know.